Hi, welcome to this MIRAC tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to use the code module and how to sequence that using a, a, switch, a sequential switch uh, to simulate an ARP module. So let's start. <clears throat> New patch, click the plus sign. So let's start uh, going to tags and um, let's go to uh, controller. Let's add a code module. Here we are. Um, let's add a clock. Then let's add um, a sequencer. Then let's add um, uh, and the switch, a sequential switch, A to 1. Then let's add also a oscillator VCO. Let's choose the macro oscillator in the, for this example. So <clears throat> let's start connecting the clock to the A-step sequencer. Then Let's connect that node out of that uh, step sequencer into the pitch in of the code module. Then <clears throat> let's um, connect the output of uh, the root into the sequential switch for each of the step. So the root to the first step, the third to the second step, the fifth to the third step, and the seventh to the fourth step. Then let's connect uh, the second clock to the step input so that um, um, the clock two of the clock module will drive um, moving, actually not the step, to moving up, sorry. Uh, so that the clock two of the clock module will uh, uh, keep giving a signal to move up to the next step on the, on the sequential switch. On the sequential switch, also let's set the number of steps to four because that is, we have four nodes, so it will switch between one to four. Let's connect the output of that sequential switch to uh, the V-Oct input of the micro oscillator. And then let's take that output of that uh, micro oscillator and connect it to left and the right okay and let's try okay um so as you can see um is um we have only one note always the same note from the sequence the step sequencer uh, and for that single note uh, you have uh, the uh, different uh, outputs in terms of the root third fifth and seventh now what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply the second clock by uh, four okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom on the step sequencer and i'm going to change the steps for each sorry the semitone for each of the steps So in this case, for every change on the step sequencer, you have four nodes output because it will be four times um, um, faster. So let's try. So you don't need to use a sequential switch. You can also actually take the output directly for the code modules and produce code if you input all those different uh, 
so if you take all those different four outputs and you put them through different oscillators and um and of course um, you can continue in in this way um the four tops outputs um are unaffected uh, but if you actually use the bottom one where it says voicing then you can start to influence uh, through the controller here at the top the inversion and voicing as an output so let's try inversion now And you can start to create quite <laughs> some fun uh, um, patterns here. So, for example, let's add uh, another uh, oscillator. There we go. And let's uh, this time take uh, directly the output from the eight step sequencer module. And now let's add um, a uh, mixer. Let's take that um, the output in each of the mixer. Then let's connect the mixer to the output. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you found this useful. Um, the code module is actually quite quite good because it allows you to have multiple outputs and I hope you enjoyed also uh, seeing how you can use a sequential switch to simulate an output module. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.